All right, guys, welcome back. Oh, here we go. Can I pull this down the hill? Probably need to pulse over this ship. Yeah, we can't do this one yet. Oh, actually, wait. Oh. Definitely need, um, the pulso, I think. Oh, what? Got it, we don't need it. You gotta be busting my balls. Oh, we had it'd been nice if we at least got something for it, but. Seems like a cumulative thing. I'll get something once we do it all. There we go. Rebellion. The Well of the Four Beasts. Some students believe that a wish made over the Well of the Four Beasts, whether near the Thestrial Griffin, Chimera, or Hippogriff, will come true for one who has gained the trust of any of the four. Oh, it's me. I thought I scared the shit out that Slytherin kid. Just peas. This asshole. Thank <laughs> you. 
incendio. Must be a puzzle. Yeah, they have numbers on them. Has to do something with these symbols. I think it's similar to this, sort of similar to this puzzle I did in this other game. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't want to spend too much time on that. I actually want to do some main quests. I haven't been called Puffskin Dunking once since Nelly. you gave me that venomous tentacular leaf. I think. I am actually braver. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work again? When you spot or hear, I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet... It's going. Got him. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? All right, what do you want, Gareth? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle. Can't really say you got me in trouble. Sharp I agree to help rough, him. But I'd bet you knowing the consequences. Or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Okay, Nelly. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fruper feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. 
I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Yep, I'm familiar with it. And say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might... A one-eyed witch statue. It is nearly headless fun. Nick. I was right. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Did you hear about that? Wait. From. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages. Word gets around. These large ornate hourglass containing rubies, diamonds, sapphire, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Southern, and respectively. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along Yeah, sure. Speedrun strat, if you, you can... Oh, wait, maybe it's not a speedrun strat. Wait. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. There's a door for this. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it, Rebellion. Just right. One can almost taste incendio. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? Mm. It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. What do you need rotten roast beef for? I was going to say speedrun strat. You could just keep circle to roll. But I guess that was just a specific okay. situation. House Elf Recipe Books. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled... Derrickable plums are likely an acquired taste. Here we are in the kitchen. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I did it again, damn it. Pear portrait. If one tickles the pear in this still alive painting of bowl, if one tr 
If one tickles the pear in the still life painting of a bowl of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to Hogwarts kitchens. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. A student never will in the kitchen. kitchen. Students. What could they want? Delicious food and want to find themselves a bit peckish, likely. Rebellion. 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 Job is here. <laughs> well, guys. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. What are you guys up to? It smells glorious. Obviously, they're cooking. Rebellion. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Where the hell did I just... Revelio. Oh. When Hogwarts house elves place prepare food on these tables it is magically transferred to the tables in the great hall directly above oh well that's dope here's a welcome treat delicious revelio House of Living Quarters. Oh, they have little barrels for homes. <laughs> Ever practical and creative, the Hogwarts house elves have created a cozy village like home for themselves among these barrels in Hogwarts kitchens. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really like inside as the house elves have extraordinary magic of their own. Yeah, I bet if you go in there, they're pretty big. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Sort of like the um the same effect of the tent. Oh, a student! What a treat! Finky. What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. You didn't hear. Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Interesting. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens. But Finky doesn't mind. Oh. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the newfangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. It would have been nice if we got to see this in the movies. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. It was nice to meet you. 
Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. See you later, Finky. Nice to meet you. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Yeah, they're great cooks. Oops. Oh, my bad. Finky keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen. It's all right. She's the kind hearted sort. Yeah, she was very nice. Take a quick snack before I head out. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. See you guys later. Here you go, Nick. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind Alpha Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. Who's a Sir Patrick, and why does he? Very well. Why would rotten I'd like to meet Sir beef myself and see this headless hunt? Ah, wonderful. I would rotten Won't beef regret it? Why would he want rotten beef or rotten meat or whatever the hell it was? Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. But once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jest. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Wow. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, sir, there's a club for headless people at Hogwarts. The headless ones. I knew about the headless uh, hunt, sir, I... but I never we imagined this. Headless, except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please follow me, and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. 
Or Nick. They won't let him in the club because he's nearly headless. I'd say he's in over his head this time. <laughs> okay. Supposed to light the candles at the bridge or something? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. What the hell? What the hell was that? Rebellion. The headsman could only see me now. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jack Daw? Whatever you say, don't Revelio. This is not my finest moment. <laughs> it won't be long now. You won't find him. <laughs> so you found us? This ain't over yet. I've never seen a plate like this. How delightful! Is it over yet? Are we still going? Rebellion. Be the one to clean up this mess. <laughs> Keep looking, you're sure to find him. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Daw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh remains. 
Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises? Yeah, for true. You? I don't want to know. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. That's a fast travel. And the bridge is near that with the candles. Open our map. Where's the fast travel for here? It's the only one near a bridge. Ah, oh, but this is not the one we're looking for. This one? Maybe this one? What are you up to now? My dearest Apollonia, would you care if you, would you care to join me for a picnic? I know you enjoy a good Cornish pasty. Almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon, hope. See you soon, I hope. Yours, Richard. Definitely it. That looks like Lumos. Also got two candles, or is that supposed to uh, be telling me to use light? Lumos, enchanted candles. Ah. I wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Yeah, better be careful. Love the sound that makes when you use Lumos. The treasure must be nearby. Ah, oh, I remember we suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. We definitely came across this earlier, and I was wondering why is there a random 
picnic table here in the Forbidden Forest. I think, right? Did I come in? This, I think I came in here, right? I must have came in here. Hmm. I feel like I came in here before. Go here, anyways. No, actually, I don't think I've been here. You can put a potion, I'll take it. Here I am, as good as my. That's a good spot for us to save. I think I might have ran in here and then ran back out. All right. Before we uh, talk to Jackdaw, we're going to end it here and I will see you guys in the next part.